47. Write the balanced nuclear equation for the production of the following transuranium elements. Okay, so we have ber or I guess berkelium, right? Berkelium 244, which is made by the reaction of AM241 and helium 4. Okay. So it seems like we have a equation here written out. We just have to write it in our nuclear equation fashion, right? Using that nucleide notation. And nucleide notation, basically you have to have three things going on. You have to have the element symbol, the atomic number, and the mass number. Now in this case, it seems like we are producing berkelium, which is made by, so this, this wording is telling me that I'm producing berkelium, right? That's made. So this has to be part of the products. And it's made by the reaction of AM241, which I believe is Americanium, America, <laughs> and helium, right, four. So these are your reactants. So let's start writing out our balanced equation in our nuclei notation fashion, right? We need those three boxes, which are these, right? I like to write them in boxes. You don't have to write the boxes, but there's three separate things that's going on here. And we know that Americanium, AM, 241. I'm going to actually check if that's right. Um, I believe so. But we have this plus another one of these, which is our helium-4, right? A helium-4, just remember, this is the same thing as an alpha particle. So whether you want to write it as an alpha particle or a helium, that's fine with me. And we know at the end of the day, we're going to produce berkelium. So I'm just going to put that over here. We'll start out the framework here. I think berkelium is BK. Uh, not Brooklyn, not Burger King, but berkelium. So, berkelium 244. Okay, so this is what we got going on right now. Let's fill in the blanks, right? So let's start with the helium-4, right? HE stands for helium, so I know that that's my element, right? The element symbol always goes in the big blue box. And now the masses is always the number that they tell us. So there's three different masses here, right? The 4 for the helium, we have the 241 for the americanium, and then the 244 for the berkelium. Now, just know that, you know, mass numbers or atomic masses, I like to call them mass numbers. Sometimes I interchange, but for all of these, these can change because you can have different number of neutrons for your given element. So mass numbers can change. That's why they have to tell you what mass you're using here. And the mass numbers are always going to be the top numbers. So we have Americanium, which is 241. So I guess we'll just, you know, put 241 for here and AM. We got helium 4. So 4 goes on the top for the helium. And then you have berkelium, which is a 244. And berkelium on the periodic table is BK. Now, what's the bottom numbers, right? They didn't tell us any bottom numbers, but the bottom numbers are... Um, the bottom numbers are your atomic numbers. Okay. Now just know that the atomic numbers don't change per specific element. That's why they don't have to tell you. So you got to go on the periodic table and find out what those atomic numbers are. Now helium is pretty easy, right? Helium is the second element. So it's got atomic number two. It's got two protons. That's what your atomic number is. Americanium right? It's going to be down at the bottom here. I see it, right? It's an F block. And atomic numbers are always the beautiful whole numbers on the periodic table. Americanium. And it's not Americanium. It's actually America. What is it? Ameris. It might be Americium. Oh, I guess we'll call it Americanium. <laughs> that sounds better, but Americium, which is 95. Okay, so 95 goes here. And then berkelium is 97. Now, let's see if we have a balanced equation, right? Because if all the green numbers across the board equal each other from the reactants to the products and the atomic numbers across the board equal, then we're balanced. But let's see. 
241 plus, literally plus, 4 is 245. Hmm, this is only telling me that I have 244. So that's an issue. But then on the bottom, it looks good. 95 plus 2 is 97. But it seems like we're missing something on this side to, you know, make your mass numbers the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to add one more box, and let's see if we could find out who this is. So let's see, 20, a 241 plus 4 is a total of 245. You could always treat your yield sign as an equal sign. So 245 equals 244 plus what? Yeah, this has to be 1, right? 244 plus 1 is 245. So I know that they have to be a 1 at the top. And then on the bottom, 95 plus 2 is 97. And there's already a 97 here. So this is just a 0. Who now has an atomic number of zero and a mass number of one? Did you say neutrons? Yeah, these are your subatomic particles, right? A neutron has no protons, right? A neutron is not a proton, so it has zero for its atomic number. But for the mass number, it is itself one because it's only got one neutron in the nucleus. Neutrons are represented by an N, lowercase n. So if you have a 1 on the top and a 0 on the bottom, it's always going to be a neutron. And now, since we balanced it all out, we are done with this problem. So this is the balanced equation. What do you think? I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Just gets the word out there in the YouTube universe. We also have... Um, memberships open to the channel if you guys want to become a member if you want to help support the channel a little bit more not obligated obviously but thank you so much for considering and I hope you have a great day I'll talk to you soon okay all right bye bye